And the Kinston Police Department is following leads after a woman was shot and killed Sunday night outside an apartment complex. Officers say they were called to the, the Mitchell Wooten apartment complex at 9.13 p.m. They say when they arrived, they found Anzaria Cobb suffering from a gunshot wound. The police department says the 22-year-old of Kinston died from her injuries as she was being airlifted to ECU Health Medical Center. Major Brandon Turner says the search for the shooter continues but believes the shooting was isolated. Anyone with information is asked to call the police department's tip line or Lenore County Crime Stoppers. Welcome to Explore Crimes. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more videos. Ansaraya Cobb, affectionately known as Pooty to her friends and family, was born on November 23, 2001, in Kinston, North Carolina. This small town, known for its deep-rooted basketball culture and its reputation for producing exceptional athletes. Pooty was one of them. From a young age, Pooty stood out, not just for her natural talent on the basketball court, but for her vibrant personality and caring nature. She quickly became a star player on the Kinston High School women's basketball team, where her passion and dedication made her a standout. Pooty's basketball journey was filled with dedication and hard work. She spent countless hours practicing and playing, balancing her love for the game with her academic responsibilities. After school, she would head straight to basketball practice and then to work, often with little sleep, all while maintaining an optimistic outlook on life. Her work ethic and determination were admired by everyone around her. Her passion for the game was evident to everyone who knew her. Pooty wasn't just a talented player. She was a fierce competitor with the heart of a lion. Her coach, Chris Bradshaw, fondly remembered her as someone who would do anything for her teammates, embodying the spirit of a protector both on and off the court. In 2020, Pooty graduated from Kinston High School, where she had made a significant impact not only as an athlete, but also as a beloved member of her community. As her high school basketball career came to a close, Pooty shared a heartfelt message on social media, reflecting on her journey and expressing her gratitude. I've been so emotional about this, OMG. Last night, I played my last high school basketball game. First, I just want to thank everyone who believed in me and supported me through this whole ride. I want to thank all my teammates. We've been handling business on the court, and I love you guys for real. Also, I want to thank all my coaches for pushing me to do better on and off the court. I really appreciate all of you and am very thankful for you guys. Number 25 out. This message was a testament to how much basketball meant to her. It wasn't just a sport. It was a significant part of her identity, shaping her into the determined and resilient young woman she'd become. She had dreams of attending college, but life took her on a different path. She continued to work hard, focusing on building a stable life for herself. In March 2024, Pooty shared another important milestone in her life. She was expecting her first child. Although the pregnancy was unplanned, she embraced the news with excitement and love. On social media, she wrote, I swear, I wasn't going to even post this, but the love I have for you is so strong, words can never explain it. Mommy is so ready to meet you and love you. July 2024, I'm a girl mom, OMG. Her joy and anticipation for the arrival of her daughter were palpable. However, Pooty chose to keep some aspects of her life private, including the identity of her child's father, whom she only referred to as her baby daddy on social media. 2024, Pooty gave birth to her daughter, who arrived a little over a month early. Despite the early arrival, Pooty was filled with joy and expressed how the experience, though challenging, was worth it because of the deep love she felt for her baby. Becoming a mother brought new meaning and happiness to her life, and she dedicated herself fully to caring for her daughter, who became her entire world. Tragically, Pooty's time with her daughter was cut short just two months later. On the evening of August 25, 2024, Pooty was shot outside the Mitchell Wooten Apartments in Kinston. Authorities received a call at 9.13 p.m. reporting a shooting near Building 8 of the complex. When officers arrived, they found Pooty suffering from gunshot wounds. She was airlifted to ECU Health Medical Center in Greenville. But despite the medical team's best efforts, she succumbed to her injuries during transport. The news of her death sent shockwaves through her family, friends, and the entire Kinston community. 
The Kinston Police Department quickly launched an investigation into Pudi's murder, determined to bring those responsible to justice. Within 48 hours, they made significant progress. On the morning of August 27, 2024, the Kinston Police Department's SWAT team arrested 30-year-old Thomas Mason at St. John's Village Apartments. Later that evening, they apprehended 24-year-old David Williams at his residence on South Heritage Street. Both men were taken into custody without incident. Police have made two arrests in the shooting death of a Kinston woman. That happened last night. Police say Thomas Mason and Devin Williams are facing charges connected to the murder of Nzaria Cobb. Williams is charged with first degree murder along with attempted first degree murder, assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill and discharging a firearm within city limits. Now Mason faces five counts of accessory after the fact, five counts of felony conspiracy and felony probation violation. Now the 22 year old woman was shot outside building number eight at Mitchell Wooten Apartments. Police found Cobb with a gunshot wound when they got to the complex around 915 PM on Sunday night. Both men who are from Kinston were arrested by Kinston Police Department SWAT team on Tuesday. The motive behind the tragic shooting that claimed Pudi's life remains unclear. Despite the swift arrests of the suspects, authorities have not yet determined what led to the senseless act of violence. As the investigation continues, the unanswered question of why this happened adds to the heartbreak felt by her family, friends, and the entire community. In response to the tragedy, Mayor Don Hardy issued a heartfelt statement on behalf of the city of Kinston. On behalf of the city of Kinston, North Carolina, and the city council, I extend our deepest and most heartfelt condolences to you and your loved ones during this time of unimaginable grief and sorrow. Words cannot adequately express the pain and shock we all feel in the wake of the senseless tragedy that claimed the life of your beloved Anzariya. Anzariya was a cherished member of our community, and her loss is felt profoundly by all who knew her. The tragedy of losing someone so young and full of promise is a sorrow that no family should have to bear. Our thoughts and prayers are with you as you navigate this painful journey of loss. Mayor Hardy's words echoed the collective sorrow felt by the entire community and underscored their commitment to seeking justice for Pudi. Her death was a heartbreaking loss, not just for her family, but for everyone who knew and loved her. Despite the tragedy, Pudi's legacy lives on through the memories of those who knew her. She was not just a basketball star, she was a beloved girl. Gang, a a devoted we gonna make a she was a she brought into the world will never be forgotten. The Kinston community continues to honor her memory, determined to ensure that her life, though tragically brief, will have a lasting impact. Long live the spirit of Anzariya Pudi Cobb. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.